There's 10 zips, there's five sky bridges, and we have, counting our hike in at the beginning, three hikes. You always have your left hand on top, and your right hand goes on top of that. As, as you're going down the cable, you want to stay in line with the cable, because in a lot of places, the canopy is real close to the cable, which gives you this incredible Whoa! sensation of speed. Oh, my name's Tiny Elliott. I'm the assistant manager of the Treetops Canopy Tour for Adventure West Virginia Resort. Tiny, do you want me to go first, or are you going first this time? We can leapfrog. We All right, do it this way. come on up, dude. You know, their whole thing is that this course should not impact the forest in any way whatsoever. You should be able to, the trees should be able to grow and thrive with the course on them. My name is Kurt Hall. I'm a canopy tour guide here at uh, Adventure West Virginia. The way this course is set up, it's on a, a double cable system. And uh, each cable is a 3 8 inch cable, and its, and its tensile breaking strength is, is 14,400 pounds. All right, duck your head under and around. Cool. It's uh, terminated by wrapping the tree and, and fist gripping it back to itself. Mm -hmm. Step on down, dude, you're good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So by using this blocking system, you don't have to drill a big bolt right through the tree or wrap the tree directly. It would choke off the tree. You got to fit each block to fit each tree. So if there's a little knot or a, or, or a bump on each tree, we carve that, that block out to fit right in that spot. It's a craft working with this living organism, which is the forest, and just not impacting the forest. And it's, it's great. So in a few minutes, we'll be crossing from the deciduous forest into the hemlock forest, and it really gets beautiful. You'll see all the hemlocks, you'll see the mountain laurel and the rhododendron below. The will Mill Creek will pass over it a bunch of times. It's awesome. Um, the hemlock forest here is really important and that was a key part of this course. The eastern hemlock is being attacked by what's called the woolly adulgent, which is a pest that came in from Japan and uh, it basically kills hemlock trees. So part of this course is highlighting that fact and uh, that's part of the commitment here from AWBR is to keep the hemlocks going. Every tree over four inches in diameter on this plot of land has been surveyed and individually tagged and will at some point in the next few years be treated. What I think is really great about this is I guided for 30 plus years on the river and this is just different every single day. There's something new like the little micro cloud or some neat little thing in the forest I've never seen or you know we started with no leaves on the trees now it's everything's green. The birds are all here. There were you know no migrants here. Uh, early on in the spring and now you've got birds everywhere. It's something new every day, every trip. In the fall you can imagine what this is going to look like. Come out and do a canopy tour and you'll see. <laughs> It'll only take one trip. <laughs>